Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and in this video, this is half a public service announcement and half tutorial. We're going to cover where all the different camps are located in the game, because if you're like me, you may have been searching for hours for camps that simply do not exist. What better place to start than the Ancient Forest? So the Ancient Forest itself has four different maps, the Southwest being the default map, so I won't show that. Now if you go to the top left of the entire forest, you'll notice on my mini map down below where I'm at, there is a little crawl space underneath the trees. Once you go in here, it will trigger a message from the handler saying this would be a mighty fine place for a camp, and it'll open up a delivery quest at the research center. So go there, and as long as you have two iron ores and an ancient bone, which are very easy to find, you should be able to make this camp without any issue whatsoever. Highly recommend doing that earlier on in the game. The next camp, if you look at my map here, is something you're going to get as you play during the first few hours anyways. Um, this is where you first run into Kuluyaku. So, um, again, you'll get this area as long as you're just playing the game normally. Finally, if you're up by the Rathalos Nest, go over here and there's a way you can sneak into the trees. Um, this one you can actually miss on accident. If you go down here, swoo, slide down, go to the right, there's kind of branching roads. Hit to the left here, that's just a rare flower. Hit to the left again, and we get a nice place for our camp. Now you can get this sort of delivery quest really early, but... If you look at the materials, it does require an Anjanath Pelt and a Monster Bone L. So don't think that you're going to be able to unlock this camp right away because you still have to be able to take down Anjanath. Still, it's a wonderful camp. It's a great shortcut to go fight Rathalos so you don't have to chase it up the tree all the time. So I highly recommend that you unlock it. Okay, next up we're going to the Wild Spire Waste, the second map in the game. The Southwest map, of course, is the default map that they give you when you first enter the area. There's what it looks like. I'm sure you're familiar with it by now. And the next camp we're going to be going to is straight up this little area where Baroth and Kuloyaku like to go. There's a very wide open entrance in the rock. Just jump on down and it'll trigger a new delivery quest to make a new camp. And that is the central camp. Now this one only takes uh, two Vespoid shells and a Monster Bone M. So it's definitely recommended that you unlock this camp as early as you can. It will save you a lot of time from running around, especially since it's so close to the forest. Here's the location of the Eastern Camp. I'm really sorry. I'm looking through all the guides, all my playthroughs. I can't figure out. I think this place was unlocked automatically after you talk to the first elder, uh, that hunting guy. Um, but I can't be sure. Um, anyways, it should be unlocked for you. That's the location. It's just in that Naus Underground uh, passageway. And the final map that you can unlock is underneath the actual Wild Spire, which is that large anthill in the very far back of the Wild Spire Waste. There's actually an entrance in the very middle to jump down inside. Definitely recommend you do this one because this is really key in not having to travel long distances to fight stuff like Diablos. Some nice rare bones when you get inside. Um, but leave outside and over to the right you'll see the Grimalkin camp which I covered in my video. And just do a jump down here and that will trigger the handler to give you a new delivery quest which is for this wonderful northeast camp. Now for this one, you will need two Rathian scales and two Monster Bone L's. So if you're like me and you killed the Rathian during the intro event of the Wildspire, maybe you can make it already. Um, but I definitely recommend that if you haven't, you do an expedition. You go out, you find her, defeat her, and make this camp. Because right from here is a little slide down area where you can go straight to where the Diablos lurks. This is really good because monsters will come down here to hide. Next up, we have the Coral Highlands, and yes, there's only two camps. I'm not joking. Uh, Southern Camp, you already know it, so we're not going to show it. Let me show you where the Northeast Camp is. I spent hours and hours looking around trying to find the other two camps, and they simply don't exist. This is the area where you fight Legiana a lot. There's just a little entrance to the wall here. And once you enter, of course, it will trigger a new delivery quest to unlock the camp. This one requires one Tsuzuyaku hide and two Master Bone M's, so pretty easy to do. I uh, definitely recommend this because anyway, there's only two camps. Like, I couldn't believe it myself, but I bought the official guides. They only list two camps, so I think we're pretty safe to say that it's official. These are the only camps. Next up is the Rotten Vale. This one also only has two camps. I think I spent four hours here looking for another camp. <laughs> this is the starting one. Of course, this is what I call uh, Radoban Alley because as you come out here, this is the wonderful slope in which Radoban loves to just sort of roll down, smack you in the head with. <laughs> Um, but the next camp is very, very convenient. Um, I cannot recall whether or not this was just automatically unlocked once you found it or not. Um, but if you're down here on area 10, there is a wall of vines over here on the left. You want to go up here and this will get the camp. Again, I'm really sorry. I went through all my playthroughs and I looked through all the guides, but none of them give any information about this one. 
This is a great camp because it gives very fast access to the bottom of the Vale. So if you want to go to that sulfur sort of pretty area, or if you want to go against Odogaron in his nest, that's where he is. Last up and not least is the Elder's Recess or the fifth map. There are two optional camps that you can find in this area. This is for high rank only, um, so you can just stop watching now if you are not at high rank. This is the southern camp, it's just the entrance place where you first uh, enter the area and find it. Now the moment you slide down there's this open area where you fight like Dodogaron and a lot of the other monsters. Hang over to the right here and there's this very large wall. It's very easy, um, so I don't think you'll miss it. Go ahead and climb up that and you'll get yet another wall to climb up. Don't go to the right there, you want to go to the left. Again, this area is kind of confusing because all the locations kind of look similar. Um, but here there's a little hole in the wall next to the honey. Go ahead and come in here and the handler will trigger yet another delivery quest to open up, which is one of my favorite camps. And this is the Eastern Camp. This one only takes two Barnos Hide Pluses and one Monster Bone Plus. Again, you have to be in high rank in order to even access this map, so go ahead and kill those small monsters and make this camp. Next up, um, actually we can leave this camp straight from here and go there. It's actually uh, really convenient, but I'm going to tell you why I like this camp particularly. When you're fighting Nier Gigante or Kushara Daura, they often go to this large area outside, and that's right outside this camp, which makes it very easy for you to travel around to fight them, or to go back to camp and heal up and then go back out to fight them again, this area down here. Now we're going to jump down and go to that area to the right over there. See, we're down here looking up at where we just were. This is the recess where Nier Gigante likes to fight you. I can't recall whether or not this is unlocked at the very start or not. But once this area is accessible, enter in and go to the left, and you'll find a little hole inside the crystals. Go ahead in here, and on the right, there's a little platform to jump down, and this will trigger yet another quest to deliver and do your final camp in the game, at least I think it is, which is the Northwest Camp. This one will take one Dodogama Hide plus and a Windrake Hide, so make sure you fight Dodogama before you come in here. And I believe that's all the maps in the Elder's Recess. Now, none of the guides out here officially even have this map, so I can't say for certainty. So if you found another camp, let me know in the description down below. But I spent hours looking, so I'm pretty confident that that's all this map has. But you never know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and aren't going to be spending too much time looking for a third camp that doesn't exist in the Coral Highlands or the Rotten Vale. I do wish Capcom would have made that a little bit easier to understand if you had all the camps. Uh, but here we are. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy hunting.